I've heard people say they're going out for a run, but this is ridiculous. 60-year-old Ed Wickersham has run from Sandy Hook Point all the way down the Jersey coast to Cape May Point. That's a little over 130 miles. It took Ed four days to achieve his lifetime goal, and he hopes to inspire others to never give up on their goals. Welcome back to Jersey Matters. The FDA is expected to approve COVID-19 vaccines for elementary school children in the next few weeks. But as Jersey Matters' Kimberly Kravitz now tells us, that doesn't mean New Jersey parents approve of the vaccine for their children. Kimberly. So Pfizer's reported that its COVID-19 vaccine is safe and effective for children ages 5 through 11, a key step toward vaccinating our youth. But how are New Jersey parents feeling about having to make that decision? I think that a vaccine should not require a marketing campaign and mandates for parents to want to give it to their child. Brenna Dillon, parent of two, is against any mandate that would require vaccinating her children. Earlier this week, Governor Murphy announced that toddlers as young as two years old will be forced to mask up in daycare. I was gutted by it. She's never worn a mask. I, even at the doctor, I had to take her to the emergency room over the summer. She didn't even have to wear one there. You don't need to be an epidemiologist or a pediatrician or some kind of other medical professional to know that if you're restricting a young child's ability to breathe for eight, or six to ten hours per day, you can't tell me that's healthy. Ryan Cody, parent of three, is against his young children having to wear masks throughout the school day, and he has no intention on vaccinating his children either. Is the risk of the vaccine higher for my children than the potential benefit? And I've come to the conclusion that it is for young, healthy children who are virtually at extremely low as as statistically close to zero chance of death as you can get for a young child. My wife's fully vaccinated. I am not. I'm open. I'm actually open to the vaccine. I just need to see a little bit more research. Cody is running for the Board of Education in his town, and I asked him how teachers might feel about having classrooms filled with unvaccinated students. They should be uh, protected. They should be fully vaxxed themselves. If teachers are, are really afraid about, about COVID-19, and some of them do have reason to be, we should be flexible. The schools in the state of New Jersey were awarded a lot of money per the ESSER grants. We have the ability, the capability, and the funds to accommodate everybody. Many of the parents I spoke with who do have plans on vaccinating their child were uninterested in sharing their thoughts on camera. But Dana McFerrin was open and honest about her decision. As a parent, how horrible would I feel knowing that I didn't do everything I could for my child to prevent something? And I think it's very important that they get vaccinated. If I can provide that little bit of extra defense for my child so they don't get it as bad, so they don't have to be hospitalized. The spike in the Delta variant as children return back to school is one of the main reasons that vaccinations for youngsters have come into question. Yeah, the Delta variant is a game changer for COVID. Uh, the Delta variant is much more infectious than the previous variants of COVID. And it's so important then that as we are faced with a Delta variant that number one, we vaccinate those who are eligible to get vaccinated. So all adults around children need to get vaccinated. That's the number one way that we're gonna help protect our children. Number two, in the classrooms, the kids that are eligible to be vaccinated, they should be vaccinated. Around 13 million children under the age of 18 have received at least one dose of a COVID vaccine, according to an American Academy of Pediatrics analysis of CDC data as of September 15th. The problem, though, is still that even healthy people can get quite sick with COVID. We've seen children in our children's hospital who had no pre-existing conditions very sick in the intensive care unit. So how soon can our younger children become vaccinated? Some trial data has become available to the public, but a formal application must be submitted in order to be approved for emergency use authorization. Pfizer intends to submit this data by the end of the month. Reporting for Jersey Matters from Kehovnanian Children's Hospital, I'm Kimberly Kravitz. Thank you, Kimberly. Next on Jersey Matters. I'm Phil Andrews, coming up on Jersey Matters, we'll talk about a shortage of school bus drivers here in the Garden State.